Hey, what it does, welcome to another edition of Torrance Take. We're doing it again. We're, I guess, not ranking the jerseys. It's more of like, whoa, they got new jerseys out of reverse retro jerseys. Let's see, let's look at them, let's do them. So first off, I'm going to mention that I'm not ranking them. I'm not choosing which one's best or which one's worse. I, I might mention that these ones are better than others, but bottom line, this is more of like my instant reaction. I've seen them all, you know, I looked at them all this morning, but this is the first time I'm actually going to kind of look at them, see them, and if they nailed it or not, let's go through it. Let's start with the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. They're going back to the Mighty Ducks logo. And if you remember before in the episode where I was ranking their best and worst NHL jerseys, I may have mentioned something. The ice, like, who puts this on a jersey? I love this jersey. This is fantastic. They need to bring this one back. And they did. They actually kind of did, except this is where the reversed retro comes in. They took those jerseys, swapped out the teal, put the white as the main color. Love it. So glad they did it. An excellent Excellent jersey. Well done, Anaheim. Arizona, they went back to their early years. Their, their original third jersey, which, again, mentioned. For one game, I don't care. This needs to be a jersey. This is fantastic. Everything, everything about this jersey. I would wear this. I would rock this. I would love this jersey. They need to bring them back. Except this time, instead of the green, they're now purple. They're great jerseys. I don't think there's enough purple in the NHL anymore. This is a great jersey. It's very nice. It's very clean. It's I love, again, I love the bottom desert scene. It's really nice. Good job, Arizona. We're off to a really good start here. Boston. Too much yellow. Um, it works sometimes. Maybe I just don't like Boston, but okay. Not great. Nothing fancy. Yellow. It's, it's going off. They're like 1970s, I think. Um, but again, an original 16, they don't change their jerseys too often. Um, so nice, I guess. Buffalo Sabres, bless the Buffalo Sabres. I am so glad they did this. While I think the original is better in the middle there, it's, I, I just love that logo. I even like the Buffalo at the bottom. Uh, this is a clean, clean jersey. Uh, this is a great jersey. They should bring these back. This is a really good take on it. It's back to their blue, gold, white jerseys, but with that spin. I love this jersey. As I said, this is a really nice jersey. They've done a really good job. When I saw these this morning, I was like, yes, I can't believe they did it. On to Calgary, and again mentioned. Calgary should bring these back. They never will. I don't know why. Huh, <laughs> idiot. Like they watched my videos. Blasty the horse is back for Calgary, and this is a nice jersey. Canucks fans claiming that they stole their colors. I mean, I'm a Canucks fan, and I'm not saying... I mean, these these were these were the colors that they had for their jerseys originally. It's a little cleaner um, than the old ones, but I'm not taking too much offense to it. Um, it's a great jersey. It's a great logo. On to the Carolina Hurricanes, or should I say Hartford Whalers. They went full Hartford on this one. Instead of the old blue, green, whichever was the main color, there was different times. They took the gray and made them. This is a really nice jersey. I know a lot of fans are going to be, you know, like, oh my God, the Harvard Whalers, they did it kind of thing. And, and, and rightfully so. It's a really nice jersey. It's a really good job by uh, Carolina to um, to do that. Chicago Blackhawks are moving back to the black, which, as I mentioned, should have gone back. A little more red in this one. Um, but they're going back with the old school logo uh, with the circle with the actual f font in the jersey. Um, this one is actually a take on the one I didn't like. Why all the stripes? What's going on? Whose idea? I don't care what year this was. Whose idea was this? <laughs> but they cleaned it up. It looks a lot better. <laughs> Moving on to Colorado, and this one is going to get so much love. It already has got so much love, and I mean, I feel like I should be saying rightfully so, but it's a nice jersey. Don't get me wrong. They're Quebec Nordique jerseys. Everybody's been clamoring for them. They want them. Well, here they are. Colorado's colors, Quebec Nordique's jersey. It's a really nice jersey. Don't get me wrong. And it's going to get the um, the old hockey fan up uh, pretty well. I mean, not my favorite jerseys personally, but um, they're nice. Columbus, the Blue Jackets, going back to their original jerseys, except instead of the blue primary color, they're going with the red. It's really nice. I love the logo. That's a classic logo. They don't have the old B thing that they uh, had originally on the jerseys. I don't know why they left him off, but um, nice jerseys. I really like uh, what they're going back to. Um, yeah, so this is a nice jersey. 
The Dallas Stars are going back to those early 2000s jerseys with the star shape, as I mentioned. I like the logo and everything. Um, I like this jersey. I just, this is a nice jersey. I would wear this jersey. I like this jersey a lot. Except this time, it's all white. It's a pretty clean jersey. It's personally, a little too much white for me, but um, it's a nice take on, on their old jerseys. Detroit. Okay. Again, I kind of went over this in my last video. They don't have much to choose from what's a reverse retro jersey to them you know what i mean uh according to uh, sportslogos.net um this was a take on their 2017 winter classic jersey so not exactly reverse retro but it's something that troy's never seen before um to me a little boring but they don't have much to choose from <laughs> the oilers um inverting the yellow or the orange and the blue um, is what they're doing with these jerseys. Uh, clean, nice, not my favorite. Um, I think in regards to the reverse retro jersey, boring because it's it's not a big splash. You had a chance to just kind of go nuts here. Um, and I think they missed it. I get where they're coming from, but clean jersey, just not not exactly what I would expect from this kind of this. Uh, release florida going back to the leaping cat they got their dark blue on it um i really like this jersey it's going back to those early panther years um it's a really nice jersey it's blue it's um red got the gold trim um really like this jersey they've done a they did a nice job here i've always loved that logo i mean it's a nice logo they have now but um this one i really particularly like the los angeles kings they're a real interesting homage they're not taking their normal colors because obviously the normal colors were silver and black and the jersey they're going off was the silver and black jerseys so they took their old school purple and yellow jerseys put it in to the black and silver jerseys and they come out with something not bad as you mentioned as i mentioned in my last video i kind of ripped their yellow old jerseys they're ugly as heck but you know get a major obviously los angeles laker vibe here um this jersey kind of works it's a nice jersey it's a, again I'll take more purple in the NHL. The Minnesota Wild, obviously. Minnesota North Star colors. Um, it's a nice jersey. I really like it. Uh, it's clean. I like the colors. Um, it's a nice take on on their old past. Uh, I think a lot of people will appreciate these uh, jerseys given the uh, North Star's history. Montreal Canadiens obviously don't have a lot to choose from. They're inverting the red and the blue, basically. Um, nice jerseys, though. Um you, I, you, I've never, you've never really seen this with the Montreal Canadiens, so uh, good take on their jersey. It's a, it's a good take. It'll look nice on the ice. Nashville Predators going back to their early years, uh, basically swapping out the uh, dark blue and the yellow. They could honestly streamline these. They should, they could honestly put these in as their normal jerseys. They're that nice. Um, they did a really good job on this one. It, it's clean. It throws me back to when they first started, really. It's a really nice jersey. I really like it. New Jersey Devils, you had to think they were going to go to the green. Um, and they, they did. Uh, it's a um, nice jersey. I, again, I, I never really understood why the Devils were green anyway. I never really got that. But hey, they went with it. And it'll look, I think it'll look pretty cool on the ice. Just... Seriously. This, this is the New York Islanders jersey. Do you, do you, for comparison, here here's their jersey now. It took me a second. When I saw that this morning, it took me a second. I was like, wait, what? I was like, oh, the blue is darker. That's it. That's it. You know what they could have gone to? I love these jerseys. They should wear these again. I'd be down. Their current jerseys are nice, but I'd be down for this one. At least a third jersey. Come on, do it. Come on, bring it back. This is great. I love this jersey. The Islanders took a big swing. It's like there was one pitch. They took a swing and they struck out on one pitch. <sighs> Lordy. Awful. New York Rangers, again, I said they should bring these back. Jersey, they should bring these back as thirds. Absolutely, they should. And they did. They got the Statue of Liberty back. I love this logo. This is a really nice jersey. I'm really excited to see this one on the ice. It's going to be... It's going to be fun to watch this jersey again. All I remember is Merrick Malik's three legs go. Oh, so great. This is a new great logo, great jersey. Way to go, Rangers. Ottawa Senators, uh, obviously, 
context, they went back to their 2D logo um, this year, as I mentioned they should, to where it doesn't exactly look that basic. I love the logo. It's clean. This is this is a nice jersey. Ottawa, they did a nice jersey here. They should go back to these. I'm telling you, they listen, they they watch, they watch that video. Uh, this one is a take on those jerseys. They're, they were the black versions. It's inverted from the black to the red. Uh, nice clean jersey. It's going to look nice. The Flyers going for their uh, Eric Lindros years. Um, inverting the white stripe and the black stripe. Uh, swapping them out. Uh, this looks better than those jerseys, I think. Um, this is a really nice take on their jerseys. And I like it. I like it a lot. They're, a lot of teams are really nailing their reverse uh, jerseys. Pittsburgh, they're, I'll give them props as I like where they went with it. Again, I would have preferred if they went to that penguin that I mentioned was uh, my favorite jersey, but um, this is a good take on it. This was their, uh, their throwback jersey. They had these in black um, before, so now they're white. Um, I, I like where they went with it. It's it's a jersey that's not really talked about too much, so I, I like where they went with it. Um, it's not a, not a huge fan, but nice jersey. The San Jose Sharks, they're... I like these jerseys. I've always liked these jerseys. You know, it throws me back to those early years of me watching hockey. And um, the gray is now the prominent color rather than the teal. Uh, I think this is a nice take. I love the logo. Um, nice take on their jerseys. These look good um, on the ice. Might blend in a bit, but um, good take. Good take. So we mentioned the St. Louis Blues and the red. And it doesn't really make sense. And the weird 99 and the everything about them. But these don't look bad. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm lying to you. They're not good. Not a fan. Nope. Nope. No. Not doing it. Nope. Tampa Bay. Love these jerseys. Going back to their 2004 Stanley Cup type winning jerseys. Uh, love the logo. Um, that's a classic logo logo for Tampa Bay. Uh, like the blue. Um, it, it, it's an inverted from the black to the blue. So it makes sense. Um, a nice jersey. They did a they did a nice nice touch here on um, the reverse retro jerseys. Well done, Tampa. The Toronto Maple Leafs and you remember when I mentioned about their worst jerseys as a logo. But again, the shoulder thing, the whole shoulder thing. What's going on here? I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, they did it. Trash. So brings us to the Vancouver Canucks. They did it. They brought the fade back. <laughs> I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I know Canucks Nation has just kind of been like, eh, about it. I know a lot of people aren't huge fans of it. Thought, oh, I should have done the skate. <laughs> yeah, it's like we haven't done that before. And everybody would have hated it if we'd put the blue and green on the skate. I guarantee you it was this or the flying v i'm glad they chose this i am buying one so quickly oh man oh man yeah i'm gonna oh, i can't wait to have one of these they're gonna look so i think a lot of people are judging the picture but i think when you see them in real life this is gonna look really good it's gonna look amazing on the ice this is gonna be fun i like this jersey again probably biased this is so good <laughs> vegas they have a jersey. You might be thinking, why do they have a retro jersey? They've only been here since 2017, which is fair. It's a throwback to the Las Vegas Thunder way back in the day. So uh, a nice homage to a team um, for them. And, and again, using the red, I'm um, using their shoulder logo as the main logo. It's, it's a pretty nice take on it. A lot of red in these uh, jerseys this year. Huh? Washington Capitals, they brought back the Eagle. <laughs> so it's a nice jersey. I'm not a huge fan of this mock-up, though. Um, Again, red, a lot of red. <laughs> uh, it's 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 a nice jersey. Don't get me wrong. I like the jersey, but it's not my favorite. But uh, I'm glad they went back to this era. This is a really nice, this this uh, really nice uh, jersey. On to Winnipeg, the Jets. Hundred percent missed an opportunity. You guys moved from the Atlanta Thrashers. Ugh, you had opportunities. You could have just done the Atlanta Thrashers. You could have. It would have been beautiful. You did this. Disappointing, Winnipeg. Very, very disappointed. God. A couple of teams. Just, I was, they struck out on three strikes. I'll give them that. It's not as bad as the Islanders miss, but they missed one here. They missed a solid opportunity 
here. And that's my ranking of the jerseys for this uh, reverse retro NHL jerseys. I'm impartial to a lot of them because it's from my era when I grew up, those early 2000s. It's a really nice take uh, on a lot of them. Uh, huge fan and uh, good job. I like the idea. The NHL doesn't usually do this, you know, kind of do something out of the box. Um, so really nice, nice uh, idea. And I think a lot of these will look good on the ice. I'm excited to see them. Hopefully we get them this soonish. Not this year, but 2021. Let's hope. Um, Anyway, yeah, it's great. Um, remember to like, share, subscribe. Uh, you, please check out my interview with TJ of the Nearly Dead. That was really exciting for me. That was really cool. Um, and check out my uh, rankings of the first two. Um, ranking all the NHL jerseys. They're good and bad. Thanks. See ya. What it does. Have a great day.